Monday stars, I'm Addie. And I'm Amaya. Who's ready for an awesome week? Today's April 26th and it is a B week for your amazing special area classes. If you didn't know already, April is Autism Awareness Month. Try to be patient with people with autism and understanding. Stay tuned to watch a video at the end of the show to learn more. It will show you three different kids with autism and will help you understand why they act differently than most kids. Remember, always, always be kind. kind. For your AR goal, you should be at 50% or more. It is important to make your goal for this quarter because it is the last time you can this year. The honor reader deadline is coming up on May 14th. Are you on track to make it? Here's an earth-shattering fact. Today is Richard Scale Day. The Richter Scale is used to tell the size of an earthquake. The bigger the number, the stronger the earthquake. It was created by Charles Richter in 1935. Indiana can, have, I, Indiana can have earthquakes, but they are usually small, so no need to be worried. This is an important week for 4th and 6th graders. Those grades will begin iLearn this week. If you are taking iLearn, make sure you eat a good breakfast. Another important thing is to get enough sleep, so get to bed on time. Those of you who aren't taking iLearn, remember to be respectful to those who are taking it. When you walk in past their classes, be as quiet as possible. It is very important not to make noise so the 6th and 4th graders can do their best on the test. Be respectful. Today's Manners Monday tip is to never leave anybody out. It's not kind to exclude somebody from an activity. You should always try in to include people in whatever you are doing. It's time to talk about today's birthdays. They are Michelle Lynn, Shira Squires, and Tate St. Laurent. Go get your birthday surprise from Mr. Pennington. Happy birthday! It's time for lunch. We are having a personal pan pizza or a chicken drumstick. You can get golden corn and fruit for the sides. Yum! Yum. We have a great joke from Miss Looper's life skills class. They have been learning about state and national parks. How did the tree get online? I don't know how. It logged on. <laughs> Jokes are what we need. Find a good joke and write it neatly so we can read it. Put it in the joke box outside of the media center. Or you could type in and send it to abetvjokes at gmail.com. Today's pleasures are Mrs. Todd's amazing first grade class. Take, Take it away. Good morning, stars. Boys and girls, you may have noticed that we have cool temperatures in the morning and then it's warming up throughout the day. Make sure that you are dressing appropriately for the weather. It's always a good idea to layer up in the morning and then shed those layers throughout the day as you need to. Also, as our anchors mentioned, grades four and six start iLearn this week and they actually start tomorrow. Grade five will finish today and so please remember to finish strong. Speaking of finishing strong, it's important that we finish this school year strong. It has been a long, long school year and it feels like it's been more than one school year all in one. So make sure that you're doing the right things and you finish the year strong. As our lovely anchor said, they said something very important, be kind. Be kind to others, be kind to yourself. You are Amy Beverland Stars, you're brave, brilliant, beautiful, and I believe in you. Have a great day and lead the way. Hi, my name is Maya. Hi, my name is Lauren. Hi, my name is Braxton. Hi, my name is James. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Hi, my name is Morgan, and Brooke is my best friend. Hi, my name is Brooke, and I love my friend Morgan. Hi, my name is Austin, and my friend Tanner is cool. You should meet him. Hi, I'm Tanner, and it's great being friends with Austin. Hi, my name is Addison, and I love hanging out with my brother Christian. Hello. 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 My name is Christian. Hi, my name's Amy. I'm Christian's helper. Miss Amy makes it easier to hang out with Christian. Hi, my name is Trent Green, and as an NFL quarterback, it was part of my job to deliver information about our game plan to my teammates to help them be the best players they could be. And now I have the opportunity to share information that I've learned about autism with you to help you be the best friend you can be. When you meet someone who's a little different than you, you might be scared or uncomfortable. And that's okay. 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 Because anything new is a little scary at first. But once you learn more about it, you get used to it. Because then you have the knowledge, and knowledge helps you understand. And understanding makes it easier to accept. All of us are different. No one is exactly the same. We all have our own talents. Characteristics. Strengths. And challenges. I have autism. Autism. I have autism. Autism can mean a lot of different things. Some kids who have autism seem like a typical kid. And it only impacts the way they act and communicate in certain situations. That's the kind of autism I have. And with some kids, autism impacts the way they act and communicate all the time. That's the type of autism I have. And sometimes, autism impacts kids so much that they might not be able to control their bodies. Or communicate by speaking, like my brother. Me. 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 No one knows for sure why kids have autism. Scientists and doctors are working hard to figure it out. What we do know is that autism affects the way the brain and body work. For kids who have autism, their senses, thought processes, communication, and body movements happen differently. It causes them to experience the world in a very unique way. Austin's brain processes things differently than mine. Morgan senses things in the world in a unique way. It's called autism. Autism is not Christian's name or who he is. So please don't call him the autistic kid. Please, please, please. Because Austin is not just an autistic kid, he is just a kid who happens to have autism. I'm just a kid with autism. Autism is not a birth defect. It's not a disease. It's not contagious. It's not like a cold. You can't catch it. Autism is just something I was born with. It's something I live with. I will have it my whole life. It's just one part of who I am. It's just one part of my brother's amazing self. Autism affects the way kids take the world in through their senses. Situations that seem very normal to most people could be extremely painful to kids with autism. Specifically, autism can impact kids' eyesight. Autism affects the way I see. Some kids with autism have vision that is blocked in the middle. Like this. Like someone is holding a hand in front of their face. They can only see the sides or just one side. Others have the sides of their vision blocked and they can only see in the middle. But this makes everything blurry or double vision. It can make kids feel sick or disoriented. Another way autism affects kids is that lights may blind or hurt them or give them headaches. That happens to me sometimes. Or sometimes kids see two pictures instead of one. Like your eyes are crossing all the time. That happens to me sometimes. Christian's eyes don't talk to his brain the same way mine do. So even though Christian's eyes have seen ice cream before, they don't tell his brain what it looks like. I love ice cream. When he sees ice cream again, he doesn't remember what it is, but his other senses remember it. So he can feel that it's ice cream, or taste that it's ice cream, but he can't see that it's ice cream. It would be like trying to figure out what something is with a blindfold on. The only way to tell is by touching, tasting, or smelling. That's why Christian puts things in his mouth or touches things over and over again. He's just figuring out what they are. Every kid is unique. But seeing the world in a unique way can be great. Historians believe that the famous artists Pablo Picasso and Michelangelo both had autism. 
They created amazing works of art with the way they saw the world. Our uniqueness makes us who we are. Christian loves to draw. Autism can impact kids' sense of hearing. Autism affects the way I hear things. My brain can't ignore noises. Austin's brain hears everything all at once at the same volume. Sometimes it's hard to be in the classroom because I hear everything all at once. And it makes it really hard to concentrate. The sound of my own voice comforts me, so I start to hum or rock back and forth. It helps me. Sometimes Christian flaps his arms or leaves the room. That's just autism. A lot of kids with autism hear just fine. I love to listen to great music. Chatting in the hallways with my friends is one of my favorite things to do. Having this unique way of hearing can be great. Historians believe that the famous composer Mozart had autism. With the way he heard the world, he created amazing music. Our uniqueness makes us who we are. I'm really good at playing the piano. Autism can also impact kids' sense of smell. Autism affects the way things smell and taste to me. I get a really bad headache if I'm around someone who wears a lot of cologne or is a smoker. The smell of hair products makes me feel like I want to throw up. Christian really doesn't like the smell of cleaning products or mouthwash. Autism can also impact kids' sense of taste. Christian is really sensitive to some foods, so he brings his own gluten-free treats to parties. I have trouble eating eggs. They don't taste good to me. But all kids have things they don't like to taste. I don't like spinach. Autism can also impact kids' sense of touch. Autism affects the way I feel things. Some things really hurt my skin. We had a drill team uniform that was made of crushed velvet. It felt like sandpaper on Morgan's skin. She waited till the last minute before the routine to put it on. Tight clothes make me feel claustrophobic, like I'm in a straitjacket. Christian hates tags on his clothes. I think they're really scratchy to him. Yes. 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 And I have some sweaters that are pretty scratchy to me, too. <laughs> when someone touches or bumps into me unexpectedly, it hurts. It feels like an electric shock. It shoots up my arm and burns. Like when I was five and I stuck my finger in an outlet, I'll never forget that. That's just autism. Kids with autism love getting hugs when they expect it or know the person well. Hugs feel good. It's just pressure everywhere. In a nice way. Christian likes it too. He even wears a special vest that has weights in it to make it feel like he's getting hugged all the time. Having a unique way of feeling the world can be great. Historians believe that the scientist Sir Isaac Newton had autism. The way he felt the world allowed him to discover gravity. Our uniqueness makes us who we are. It's possible for all these sensitivities to hit at once. Eyesight, hearing, feeling, and sense of smell. It happens especially in public places, or sometimes in a classroom. Bright lights overhead, kids talking about their weekend, the teacher typing on the computer. The whirring of the fan, the smells from the cafeteria, the cleaning cabinets, the kid brushes the cap, and it feels like an electric shock. So I I feel like I'm gonna run in the restroom, bang my head, pull my hands over my ears, and close my eyes. Christian just wants it to stop. Once I learned how painful it can be for her, I understood why Morgan sometimes acts differently. I understood why, with all that chaos bombarding him every day, it might feel good for Austin to do things in routines. Routines are comforting to me. I like to do things in routines. But if something in the routine changes, it could be painful for Morgan, so I try to help her with it. Another way for kids to cope is to spend time with an item that is familiar. Christian likes to hold on to this hula hoop when he's upset. It just helps him calm down. That's autism. I do certain things in my life to cope too. When I'm nervous, I twirl my hair. I get in trouble for biting my fingernails. We all have unique ways of dealing with the world. Our uniqueness makes us who we are. Once you learn about what autism is, you get used to it, because when you have knowledge, you understand, and it's easy to accept. I love being friends with Morgan. 